Developing spacecraft is probably the most challenging engineering task that has ever existed. This becomes evident when we look at the spacecraft that are making headlines in 2024 due to their failed or delayed missions, such as Boeing Starliner. In this video, we're going to talk about another spacecraft facing similar difficulties. The Dream Chaser the Dream Chaser spacecraft is currently encountering significant challenges in its journey to becoming a reliable vehicle for space missions. When NASA retired the Space Shuttle program in 2011, they faced a significant challenge. They no longer had a spacecraft capable of sending astronauts to space or bringing them back. This left the United States entirely dependent on Russia for transporting astronauts to and from the International Space Station, which was both a costly and geopolitically risky arrangement. For a country like the United States, not having its own operational spacecraft was an embarrassing situation and posed a serious risk in cases of diplomatic tensions or conflict with the very country it was relying on. Recognizing the strategic danger, NASA invested heavily in developing new spacecraft through the Commercial Crew Program. This program aimed to encourage private companies to develop space transportation capabilities. NASA awarded significant contracts to several companies. SpaceX received approximately $2.6 billion. Boeing was granted around $4.2 billion. And Sierra Nevada Corporation, the developer of the Dream Chaser, received a smaller amount under a different program. These investments were meant to restore the United States' ability to independently send and retrieve astronauts. Among these companies, SpaceX has been the only one to consistently deliver on its promises. In contrast, Boeing's Starliner has faced numerous delays and technical issues, and Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, while promising, has also been plagued with delays. The issues for Dream Chaser began when Sierra Space informed the United Launch Alliance that the spacecraft would not be ready in time for its scheduled launch in September. This delay marked a significant setback, as United Launch Alliance had planned to use Dream Chaser's launch to help certify its new Vulcan Centaur rocket for crucial national security missions. Without Dream Chaser, United Launch Alliance had to shift its focus to other missions, leaving the spacecraft without a confirmed launch vehicle. Dream Chaser has successfully passed several critical tests at NASA's facilities, demonstrating potential as a more dependable option than many competitors. However, the decision to pair Dream Chaser with the Vulcan Centaur rocket has been controversial from the start. Critics have argued that Vulcan rocket might not be the best choice for Dream Chaser for several reasons. First, the Vulcan rocket itself is still in development, and its timeline has been plagued by delays, partly due to supply chain issues and challenges in scaling up production of key components like the BE-4 engines, which are manufactured by Blue Origin. This uncertainty surrounding Vulcan's readiness has raised concerns about whether it can meet the requirements for national security payloads and other critical missions. Furthermore, there have been rumors and speculations about the future of ULA as a company. Some industry insiders have suggested that ULA may be looking to sell off its assets or merge with another aerospace company. This potential instability has fueled doubts about whether ULA can provide the long-term support that Dream Chaser and other spacecraft will need. The concern is that if ULA undergoes significant corporate restructuring or ownership changes, the reliability and availability of the Vulcan rocket could be compromised. Despite the setback, Sierra Space remains optimistic about Dream Chaser's future. The first spacecraft, named Tenacity, is still expected to launch, though the mission has been pushed to 2025. After passing important tests, Tenacity has been moved to Florida for final preparations. However, the initial plan to launch Dream Chaser with the Vulcan Centaur rocket now seems more uncertain. One potential solution is a partnership with SpaceX's rockets. Although Dream Chaser was originally designed to work with different rockets, including SpaceX's Falcon 9, the spacecraft's weight has increased due to the addition of the Shooting Star cargo module. This makes Falcon 9 less suitable, leading Sierra Space to consider other options, such as the more powerful Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy has a strong track record for reliability and could be a suitable option for launching Dream Chaser. 
However, Falcon Heavy does not launch as frequently as Falcon 9, which could lead to further delays. If timing is less critical, Sierra Space might also consider the Starship, a spacecraft designed to carry much larger payloads. Given the challenges faced by companies like Boeing, Sierra Space, and United Launch Alliances, it's hard not to appreciate the immense success of SpaceX. What's even more impressive is that SpaceX develops nearly everything they need in-house, from engines to spacecraft. In contrast, other companies often rely heavily on third-party suppliers. For example, Boeing's Starliner has faced delays and technical issues, and it depends on components from various sources. Similarly, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser relies on United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur rocket for its launches. And even Vulcan's engines are provided by Blue Origin, another external supplier. SpaceX's decision to build everything in-house, including their engines, was initially met with skepticism. Many suggested they could have accelerated their development by sourcing ready-made components from other companies. However, looking at the struggles faced by other companies that took that route, it's clear why SpaceX's strategy was the right one. By controlling every aspect of their production, SpaceX has not only maintained high quality and reliability, but has also been able to innovate rapidly. This approach has allowed SpaceX to achieve remarkable milestones. Despite receiving $2.6 billion compared to Boeing's $4.2 billion, SpaceX delivered on its promises years ahead of Boeing. Their Crew Dragon spacecraft has been successfully ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station since 2020, while Boeing's Starliner is still facing big challenges, particularly disastrous recent crewed flight. The spacecraft experienced severe issues, including thruster malfunctions and problems with the docking mechanism, which left the astronauts in a precarious situation. The mission was supposed to last only a short duration, but the technical failures extended it far beyond the planned time frame, causing significant concerns about the spacecraft's reliability and safety. NASA is currently evaluating all options to safely bring astronauts back to Earth, including the possibility of using SpaceX's Crew Dragon if Boeing's Starliner cannot be repaired in time. However, many experts believe that Boeing is unlikely to allow NASA to use SpaceX's spacecraft. This comes from the significant damage it could do to Boeing's already struggling reputation, particularly in comparison to SpaceX, a relatively new and smaller company that has quickly gained prominence in the space industry. Boeing was already a dominant player in the industry long before SpaceX was even founded. Established in 1916, Boeing has been a cornerstone of American aerospace. By the time SpaceX was founded in 2002 by Musk, Boeing had already been in operation for nearly a century and had established itself as a leader in both commercial aviation and space exploration. When NASA awarded contracts to both Boeing and SpaceX in 2014 under the Commercial Crew Program, Boeing was awarded $4.2 billion to develop the Starliner, while SpaceX received $2.6 billion to develop the Crew Dragon. Despite its extensive experience and resources, Starliner's first uncrewed test flight in December 2019 failed to reach the International Space Station due to a software error, and subsequent delays and technical issues have plagued the program. Meanwhile, SpaceX, a newcomer by comparison, successfully launched its first crewed mission with the Crew Dragon in May 2020, just 18 years after the company was founded. SpaceX has transported dozens of astronauts to and from the International Space Station, including missions under NASA's Commercial Crew Program, as well as private missions. What's even more striking is that SpaceX isn't just focused on developing a single spacecraft. They have been advancing multiple projects simultaneously, including the development of Starship, the most massive rocket ever built. Starship has already completed four flight tests, and the company is now gearing up for its fifth test flight. This upcoming test is expected to take place between late August and early September 2024, pending regulatory approvals from the Federal Aviation Administration. This test will be particularly significant as SpaceX plans to attempt to catch the returning Super Heavy booster with the launch tower's chopsticks. If you've stayed with us until now, I've got some exciting news for you. 
we have the most realistic Starship model available on eBay, and it's priced affordably. Whether you're a space enthusiast or just love collecting models, we invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.